And I think this is a very important thing because we're so, we're in the modern world, especially we have everything so sectioned off. I mean, like you go one place and they're like, uh, that are like, you're a scientist, you go another place, they're like, you're a philosopher. Uh, if some guy is a, a philosopher, you're like, don't even think about touching biology. And if some guy is a, a biologist, you're like, please don't try and run the government. And they do it anyways, and it's really, it's terrible. But why is this in specific so important, right? Well, things weren't always like that, right? But the thought that I'm only the one thing that I am, uh, let's say for argument's sake, let's say I'm a YouTuber because I'm making a video on YouTube right now. I hate that label. Let's say I am. Let's say that's what I am, right? Um, this idea that I am that one thing and nothing else to be seen in relation to that one thing is a really limiting belief, right? And it, it would take me, you know, to uh, never take my ideas on YouTube and apply them to, let's say, coding. You know, whereas if I were to not have that belief and I were to look at everything as everything and I were to say, why not try pick up some coding? You know, we're in the, we're in a new age. Let's see if I can pick this up. Let's see if I can make a little app. Maybe within an hour, I would have found a new way to do something or had a little fun experiment and then it contributed something to this collectivity, right? To this geist, if you want to call that, or just the internet, cool thing. The internet, having a cool thing on the internet, that's good. That's always good, right? This isn't happening as much anymore though because of this partitioning. And, and I'm here to make sure we understand that this partitioning is not how things always were. Aristotle, famous philosopher, guy I hate, not, I'm not an Aristotle fan if you guys can't tell, hate Aristotle, right? Uh, he is the one that came up with genus and species and all that, right? That's biology. He's the founder of biology and he was just philosophizing. He was just trying to figure out the world, right? And so many times, this is what's happened. Democritus came up with the atom and also democracy. Talk about a guy doing two things right there. Now, if I'm, if I'm, you know, I'm, I'm not one to give Democritus too much credit. Some people really like being like, yeah, he figured that out. Nah, he guessed, he guessed the atom. But the fact remains that having people that have overlapping knowledge who are gonna take their perspective on one thing and bring it to a new field is a really good thing. And bring it to a new field is a really good thing. Like that's a really powerful thing.